Did you know that the moments we often try to avoid, those quiet stretches of solitude, might actually hold the secret to our greatest growth and happiness? Today, we're delving into a topic that might just shift the way you view your own company. It's easy to get caught up in the noise of the world, constantly seeking connection and fearing that silence might reveal something about us we're not ready to face. But what if I told you that embracing solitude, stepping back and really getting to know yourself could unlock levels of contentment and self-awareness you've never imagined? Stoicism, an ancient philosophy as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago, teaches us about the power of self-sufficiency, resilience, and finding peace within ourselves. In our journey today, we'll explore not just how to be alone, but how to thrive in it, using the timeless wisdom of Stoicism to guide us. So if you've ever felt a pang of loneliness, or if you're just curious about what lies on the other side of societal pressures to always be connected, then you're in the right place. Let's uncover together how solitude can be one of the most powerful experiences in our lives, turning what we often perceive as a negative into our most profound strength. Lesson 1. Embracing diversity of experience. Being alone doesn't mean you're lonely. In fact, it's an opportunity to see the world in a whole new light. Imagine every person you meet as a new chapter in your life story, each one offering a fresh perspective and a chance to learn something new. That's what Stoicism teaches us to appreciate. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that still holds wisdom for us today, emphasizes the importance of embracing solitude as a path to personal growth. When we find ourselves alone, whether by choice or circumstance, it's not a time to feel isolated, but rather a time to explore the richness of human connection in its various forms. Consider this. Every individual we encounter is like a unique puzzle piece, contributing to the mosaic of our experiences and shaping our understanding of the world. Each person brings with them a different set of beliefs, values, and life experiences, offering us an opportunity to broaden our horizons and challenge our preconceptions. The Stoics believed in the concept of cosmopolitanism, the idea that we are all citizens of the world interconnected by our shared humanity. Therefore, when we engage with people from diverse backgrounds and cultures, we're not only expanding our social circles, we're also enriching our understanding of what it means to be human. Furthermore, every interaction, no matter how brief, has the potential to teach us valuable lessons about kindness, resilience, and the complexities of human emotions. Whether it's a deep conversation with a close friend or a fleeting encounter with a stranger, each interaction leaves an imprint on our lives, shaping who we are and who we aspire to become. In essence, being alone offers us the opportunity to embrace the diversity of human experience and to celebrate the beauty of individual differences. It's a chance to step outside of our comfort zones, to open ourselves up to new perspectives and to cultivate a greater sense of empathy and understanding for others. So the next time you find yourself alone, remember that you're not truly isolated. Instead, you're embarking on a journey of discovery, one that is enriched by the myriad connections we make along the way. Embrace the diversity of experience that comes with being alone, and you'll find that solitude is not a burden to be avoided, but a gift to be cherished. Lesson two, utilizing time wisely. When you're on your own, you have the freedom to choose how you spend your time. It's not just about passing the hours, it's about making the most of every moment. Stoicism teaches us that time is our most valuable resource and being single gives us the opportunity to use it wisely. Stoicism is an ancient philosophy that still has a lot to teach us today. 
One of its key lessons is about the importance of living in accordance with our values and virtues. When we're not part of a couple, our decisions are our own. We get to choose how we spend our mornings, what hobbies we pursue, and which passions we chase. But it's not just about filling our time with activities. It's about using our time to discover who we truly are and what brings us joy. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, believed that living a life aligned with our nature was essential to finding fulfillment. And when we're single, we have the freedom to explore what truly lights a fire in our souls. Think about it. Maybe you've always wanted to learn a new language or pick up a musical instrument. Perhaps there's a hobby you've been curious about but never had the time to pursue. Being single gives us the chance to dive deep into these interests, to immerse ourselves fully in the things that make us feel alive. But it's not just about indulging in our passions. It's also about reflecting on our choices and using our time to better understand ourselves and our place in the world. Stoicism teaches us the value of introspection, of taking moments to ponder over our day and the impact we're having on the world around us. When we're single, we have the opportunity to craft a life that's true to our values and aspirations. We're not beholden to anyone else's expectations or preferences. Instead, we get to chart our own course to pursue the things that matter most to us. And here's the thing, it's not just about living for ourselves. Stoicism encourages us to use our time to contribute positively to the world around us, whether it's through acts of kindness, volunteering, or simply being there for others in their time of need. Being single gives us the freedom to make a difference in the lives of those around us. So the next time you find yourself alone, remember that you're not just passing time, you're crafting a life that's rich in experiences, learning and personal growth. Use your time wisely and you'll find that being single isn't just a state of being, it's a journey of self-discovery and fulfillment. Lesson three, finding contentment in simplicity. Being single gives us a unique opportunity to appreciate the simple things in life and find contentment in what we already have. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that still holds relevance today, teaches us the importance of living simply and finding joy in the essentials. When we're not part of a couple, we have the freedom to make choices about how we spend our money and what we prioritize in our lives. Stoicism encourages us to be wise stewards of our resources and to find fulfillment in experiences rather than possessions. Imagine this. Instead of spending money on extravagant gifts or fancy dates, you have the opportunity to save and invest in experiences that truly enrich your life. Whether it's saving for a dream trip, funding your own creative project, or simply building a financial safety net for peace of mind, being single allows us to align our spending with our deepest values and aspirations. But it's not just about saving money. It's also about redefining our relationship with material possessions. Stoicism teaches us that true wealth comes from living in accordance with our values and virtues, not from accumulating material wealth for its own sake. When we embrace simplicity and focus on what truly matters, we free ourselves from the endless pursuit of consumerism and find contentment in the present moment. Instead of constantly chasing after the next big thing, we learn to appreciate the beauty of what we already have and find joy in the simple pleasures of life. Moreover, being single gives us the opportunity to cultivate a sense of gratitude for the things we often take for granted. Whether it's a warm cup of coffee in the morning, a quiet moment of reflection, or the company of a good friend, stoicism teaches us to cherish these small moments of happiness and find fulfillment in the here and now. But perhaps the most valuable lesson of all 
is the realization that true wealth doesn't come from external sources, it comes from within. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate inner peace and contentment regardless of our external circumstances. When we learn to find happiness in ourselves rather than in material possessions or external validation, we unlock a sense of fulfillment that is truly lasting. So the next time you find yourself alone, take a moment to appreciate the simple things in life and find contentment in what you already have. Embrace the wisdom of Stoicism and focus on living a life of simplicity, gratitude, and inner peace. You'll find that true wealth isn't measured by the size of your bank account, but by the richness of your experiences and the depth of your contentment. Lesson 4. Cultivating Love in Its Many Forms When we're single, we have a unique opportunity to explore the depth and breadth of love in its many forms. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that still holds relevance today, teaches us about the importance of self-love, friendship, and community. Being single is often seen as a time of loneliness or longing for romantic love. However, Stoicism encourages us to see it as an opportunity to cultivate love for ourselves first and foremost. It's about learning to enjoy our own company appreciate our strengths, and work on our weaknesses with kindness and patience. Self-love isn't about being self-absorbed or selfish. It's about treating ourselves with the same compassion and care that we would offer to a friend. When we surround ourselves with supportive and uplifting friends, we create a sense of belonging and connection that sustains us through both good times and bad. But friendship isn't the only form of love that we can cultivate when we're single. Stoicism encourages us to extend our love and compassion to the broader community around us. Whether it's through volunteering, participating in community projects, or simply being there for people in need, being single gives us the freedom to make a positive impact in the lives of others. In embracing these healthier forms of love, we move away from the narrow focus on romantic relationships as the sole source of happiness and fulfillment. Instead, we recognize that love is a multifaceted and abundant resource that enriches our lives in countless ways. Furthermore, cultivating love in its many forms fosters resilience, happiness, and a profound sense of connection to the world around us. It shifts the narrative from seeking love to giving and growing in love, a far more empowering and enriching journey. So the next time you find yourself single, embrace the opportunity to cultivate love in all its forms. Practice self-love, nurture deep and meaningful friendships, and extend your love and compassion to the broader community. In doing so, you'll find that being single is not a state of lack or longing, but a time of abundance and growth. Lesson 5. Rediscovering Happiness Within In the midst of societal pressure to find happiness in romantic relationships, being single offers us a unique vantage point to rediscover happiness within ourselves. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that still resonates today, teaches us that true happiness comes from living a life in accordance with virtue and reason, rather than from external circumstances or other people. When we're single, we have the opportunity to focus on developing our inner fortress, strengthening our character, and finding joy and satisfaction in our own achievements and growth. Instead of relying on someone else to complete us or fulfill us, Stoicism encourages us to cultivate happiness from within. This isn't about closing ourselves off to love or companionship. Rather, it's about ensuring that our happiness isn't contingent on external factors. When we learn to find fulfillment in ourselves and our own accomplishments, we become more content as individuals and more resilient in the face of life's challenges. Furthermore, being single teaches us the importance of self-sufficiency in emotional well-being. Stoicism emphasizes the idea 
that while sharing life with someone can add to our happiness, it's not the source of it. Our true source of happiness lies in our thoughts, actions, and responses to the world around us. So, if you're single and sometimes find yourself longing for a relationship, thinking it's the missing piece to your happiness puzzle, remember this stoic wisdom. Work on cultivating your inner happiness, on living a life of virtue, purpose, and fulfillment. Relationships and marriage have their place, but they are not the ultimate arbiters of your happiness. That power, that responsibility, lies with you. Embracing this truth not only makes you more content as a single person, but also lays the groundwork for healthier, more fulfilling relationships in the future. In the context of being single, self-sufficiency is your superpower. It's about learning to rely on yourself for your happiness and well-being, understanding that while others can add to your life, they are not the source of your contentment. This realization is liberating. It frees you from the endless pursuit of external validation and companionship to fill the voids within. Instead, it encourages you to look inward, to cultivate your virtues, and to find peace in your own company. Moreover, embracing self-sufficiency teaches you resilience. Life is full of ups and downs, and being emotionally and intellectually self-sufficient means you're better equipped to handle challenges. You learn to see obstacles as opportunities for growth, as the Stoics did, and to maintain your equilibrium in the face of adversity. This resilience, this inner strength, is something you cultivate every day you spend discovering and relying on yourself. It's a journey of self-discovery and growth, one that ultimately leads to a deeper and more profound sense of happiness and fulfillment. So, the next time you find yourself single, embrace the opportunity to rediscover happiness within yourself. Cultivate self-sufficiency, resilience, and inner peace, and you'll find that true happiness is not something you seek outside of yourself, but something you already possess within. Lesson 6. Embracing Freedom and Autonomy Being single offers us a profound sense of freedom and autonomy, allowing us to live life on our own terms and chart our own course. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that still holds relevance today, teaches us about the freedom that comes from within, the freedom of mind, choice, and living in harmony with our deepest values. Imagine waking up each day knowing that your choices, where to go, what to pursue, whom to spend time with, are entirely yours. This level of autonomy is a rare gift, one that allows us to explore the vast landscape of our desires, ambitions, and curiosities without compromise. But it's not just about external choices, it's also about internal freedom. Stoicism teaches us that True freedom comes from controlling our perceptions, actions, and reactions. When we apply this to the context of being single, it means that we're not just free to make external choices, but also free to choose our attitude towards life's ups and downs. Instead of seeing solitude as loneliness, we learn to embrace it as a fertile ground for growth and self-discovery. We recognize that being single doesn't mean being alone. It means having the freedom to explore the depths of our own being and pursue our passions and interests without restraint. Moreover, this freedom extends to our relationships with others. Without the constraints of a romantic partnership, we are free to cultivate a diverse range of connections, deep friendships, meaningful community ties, and even casual acquaintances, each one enriching our lives in unexpected ways. In embracing this freedom, however, comes great responsibility. Stoicism teaches us to use our freedom wisely, to live virtuously, and to contribute positively to the world around us. 
Each choice we make, whether it's how we spend our time, whom we connect with, or how we grow as individuals, shapes the course of our lives and leaves an imprint on the world. So the next time you find yourself single, embrace the freedom and autonomy that comes with it. Use your freedom to explore your passions, cultivate deep and meaningful connections, and contribute positively to the world around you. In doing so, you'll discover that true freedom isn't just about being able to do whatever you want. It's about living a life that's aligned with your deepest values and aspirations. Lesson seven, nurturing personal growth and development. Being single provides us with a unique opportunity to focus on our personal growth and development, allowing us to become the best versions of ourselves. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that remains relevant today, teaches us about the importance of continuous self-improvement and the pursuit of excellence. When we're not in a relationship, we have the freedom to invest time and energy in ourselves, to explore our interests, develop new skills, and deepen our understanding of the world around us. Stoicism encourages us to view every moment as an opportunity for growth and learning, to embrace challenges as opportunities for self-discovery and improvement. Imagine this, instead of spending our time and energy on maintaining a relationship, we have the freedom to focus on our personal goals and aspirations. Whether it's pursuing higher education, advancing in our careers, or exploring new hobbies and interests, being single allows us to prioritize our own growth and development. But it's not just about external achievements, it's also about inner transformation. Stoicism teaches us the importance of cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and resilience. Qualities that enable us to navigate life's challenges with grace and integrity. Moreover, being single gives us the space to reflect on our values, beliefs, and priorities. To gain clarity about who we are and what we want out of life. Without the distractions of a romantic relationship, we're free to explore our identity, to question our assumptions, and to discover our true purpose. In embracing this journey of personal growth and development, however, comes great responsibility. Stoicism teaches us that we are responsible for our own happiness and fulfillment, that we have the power to shape our own destinies through the choices we make and the actions we take. So the next time you find yourself single, embrace the opportunity to nurture your personal growth and development. Use your freedom to explore your passions, expand your horizons, and become the best version of yourself. In doing so, you'll discover that being single isn't a state of lack or longing, but a time of abundance and growth, a time to embrace the fullness of who you are and who you can become. Conclusion, being single offers a unique opportunity to explore the depths of solitude, to cultivate self-sufficiency and to embrace the freedom to live authentically. Through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we can learn valuable lessons about self-discovery, resilience, and the true sources of happiness and fulfillment in life.